let's um continue um, practice test two this I don't know which year these questions came out but boy this looks like an old question very old question it says how much interest would a fixed deposit of one thousand dollars earn on in 1975 than in 1976 Hmm. 1975 and 1976 all right $1,000 you're going to have to find 7.8 percent that applies in 1975 and then 7.5 percent has applied in 19 76 so let's see what's happening what's going on going to happen here you have 7.8 per cent of 1000 that happens in 1975 in 1976 you have 7.5 per cent of one thousand dollars so for each one hundred into one hundred one one hundred into one thousand ten this is seventy eight dollars ten times seven point eight and then here hundred into hundred one hundred into a thousand ten seven point five times ten seventy five when you subtract them seventy eight minus seventy five and you get three right so that's question 21 and that's B now you could consider also that when you have 7.8 minus 7.5 you'll get 0 0.3 and when you multiply that by a thousand 10.3 over 100 times a thousand that's 0 0.3 times 10 and you get three dollars so answer is b all right now that's 21. let's look at what happens with question 22. question 22. Alright, in the figure not drawn to scale, PQRS is a rectangle. P okay, so that's PQRS is a rectangle with PQ eight centimeter and PS six centimeter. QSTU as Q S T U is a square. So QSTU is a square. The area of QSTU is all right. We'll see what's going to happen with that. Alright, now if you look at this, you see that you have a right angle triangle here. P S this is Q. So S is here, P is here, Q is here, six and eight. You can use Pythagoras theorem to find this. Find S Q. That's from S to Q. You can use Pythagoras theorem to find that. So according to Pythagoras theorem, 
sq squared is 6 squared plus 8 squared. In that case, 36 plus 64, <coughs> and this becomes 100. Now the square root of 100 is sq, which is 10. But this is 10. This, since it's a square, this is 10. 10, 10, 100. So, question 22 that is, is D. Question 22, D. You could also, if you remember that when you have a triangle with size in the ratio of 3, 4, 5, it's a right angle triangle. What you would be able to do is if you have 3 to 4 to 5, then 6 to 8 to 10 is the same ratio. So 6 to 8, 10. And 10 squared, 100. Alright? Now, let me pause this a bit and we continue after that okay so that was question 22 you could um, take a look at question 23 it says uh, which of the following set has an infinite number of members hmm. all right Add numbers between 10 and 20. Well, it starts at 10 and stops at 20, so it's not A. Prime numbers between 10 and 20? No. You have a finite number here. Factors of 20. Let's look at this. The factor of factors of 20 can go into 20 without leaving a remainder. That is finite because you have these factors, examples 1, then 2, 4, and so on, going up to 20 itself, and that's it, no more. But D, multiples of 20. Multiples of 20 are the numbers that 20 can go into without leaving a remainder. So multiples of 20, multiples of 20 include include 20 itself you have 40 you have 60 on and on and on without end so 23 is d question 23 the answer is d all right what about question 24 with question 24 the interest rate on investments in a bank decreased from eight and a half percent per annum to six percent per annum what's the difference in size of the annual interest rate and a deposit of two thousand dollars all right we want to find out what was the interest rate at eight and a half percent and then what it is at six percent or the interest at eight and a half percent and then the interest at six percent we could also just subtract them to see the difference, right? If we do that, is uh, we have eight and a half, eight point five minus six, and that's going to be two point five difference. No, two point five, two point five per cent of two thousand hundred into hundred one hundred into two thousand twenty. 2.5 times 20. 20 twos is 40 plus half of our 20 is 10, 50. So question 24. Ah, 50. So that's B. B, $50, right? If you wanted to work each percent separately, then you just say 8. 0.5 per cent. Remember, per means out of. 100 means cent. Of means multiply. Of 2000. And you're going to minus 6 per cent of 2000. You see that? 100 
and this is 20 100 this is 20 so you really have 8.5 times 20 minus 6 times 20 but then of course it factorizes back to 20 outside the bracket 8.5 minus 6 which goes back to what we had done before but if you wanted you could just multiply each separately 8.5 by 20 8 times 20 is 160 so 8 to 160 plus half of 20 10 so that's 170 this this becomes 170 minus what is this 120 so 170 minus 120 that's like 70 minus 20 and that's 50 again so whichever way you want to do it right you choose the method you want now we go to question 25 Where's question 25? All right. We're seeing question 25 here. Let's erase the rough work that we had before. And look at question 25. We could very well zoom in a bit. No. What we have here is how many liters of water with a container whose volume of 36 centimeter cube hold. All right, now remember that in this case you want to find out how many liters of water it will hold, right? So you have to remember that one liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube because remember a liter is like a cube with sides 10 centimeters 10 by 10 by 10 all right so 10 centimeter width by 10 centimeter length by 10 centimeter height 10 by 10 by 10 is a thousand so one liter is a thousand centimeter cube, just like a 1.5 liter engine is really a 1,500 cc engine. If you study and learn about the internal combustion engine and the difference between the top and bottom dead centers of a piston and you add them all up, multiply them by the number of cylinders, you get the cc or the liter a 2 liter engine is 2000 cc 2000 centimeter cube 1.8 liter engine is a 1800 cc engine and so on all right although in the near future we won't be having much or any internal combustion engines before because they switching out to electric cars but anyway that's for a different discussion here one liter is a thousand centimeter cube how many liters of water with a container whose volume of 36 centimeter cube hold? So if one liter is a ton centimeter cube, let me erase this a bit. And X liters is 36 centimeter cube. How many liters of water with a container whose volume is 36 centimeter cube hold? What we could say this over this is equal to this over this right so x over 1 is equal to 36 over 1000 which is what 36 and you divide by a thousand one two three there's a zero under here and the point is here 0 0.06 liters so question 25 question 25 is a right so this is a measurement question and you should study how to answer this type of question so we continue later on